So I want to give you help on how to do the interview and write up a good Stedman interview paragraph for the essay. First, let's say I was interviewing uh, myself, which is just sad. But anyway, here's my interview notes and my interview quotes. Make sure you get some good quotes because you're going to write a Stedman paragraph. So I'm interviewing the subject and he's, I ask him, what have you done with habit change? What have you tried? What's worked? What's failed? He starts talking about doing daily sit-ups. He says he tried and failed before. Uh, that he was motivated after a trip to Mexico where he ate too much and came back feeling like he needed to do something about that growing belly. Um, and so on and so on. These are my notes. Some little quotes here. I would recommend recording the interview unless you write or type very quickly. And then at the end, transcribing some good quotes. Here's one, I was out to dinner with some friends and I didn't pig out or even finish my plate. I suddenly realized it was because my new stomach muscles were telling me they were full. Another quote, after a few days of sit-ups, I actually started thinking about going for a run. It didn't work when I didn't set a time. And I've tried and failed and started over several times, but I still feel good about the progress I've made. Now choosing a quote is very important because it connects up to what your overall topic and thesis are. So let's look at this first quote. It can even help you decide what your thesis is if you're still deciding. This first one is talking about uh, the sit-ups leading to a change in eating habits. So one habit impacting another. So this would work well if I were writing about keystone habits, habits that have a ripple effect that affect other habits. This one, same thing, talking about sit-ups leading to running, to wanting, having more desire to do other exercise habits. This one, it didn't work when I didn't set a time. That would make sense if you're talking about cues or triggers, right? And maybe you're, you're focused on the habit loop and the importance of good triggers, understanding your triggers, how to set good ones, how to avoid bad ones, and so on. This last one, I've tried and failed and started over several times, but I still feel good about the progress I've made. So that would be, again, if you're focusing your whole essay on the notion of it's okay to fail and start over, maybe you're talking about inflection points where you know that there's going to be stumbles and obstacles and that you're going to drop the ball, but what are you going to do afterwards? It could also be something about persistence, but you want to remember that you're writing an essay about habits, not about the book, you're not writing a book review and you want to come up with a focus, cravings, willpower, inflection points, keystone habits, and not try to talk about everything you've learned and thought about with habits, but just that one specific area is plenty for seven paragraphs, trust me, if you really go deep. So once you've got your notes and quotes, here's the Stedman paragraph. Start out with a tell it. This is a crucial sentence because it has to lead into the interview, but it also has to connect all the way back to your thesis statement. So once you've picked that focus, it's going to be a lot easier. Let's say I'm writing about keystone habits in my essay and I've got some statement at the end of the introduction about how essential keystone habits are for blah, 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 blah. My sentence here says, one thing about keystone habits is they can surprise you. So I'm connecting back to the thesis, but I'm going into this interview. Now my setup sentence. My English professor, Evan Nichols, discovered this when he was trying to establish a daily sit-ups routine. That's the context, the setup. Notice I did not say anything like, in my interview, or for my interview, I chose my uncle. That's not a topic sentence that understands it's part of something bigger. 
an essay about willpower or cravings or keystone habits, make sure your topic sentence understands it's part of something bigger and each one is connected up to that thesis statement. Now you may have to rewrite the entire first draft to start lining things up better. That's normal. That's the writing process. So I'm sorry if it's painful, but that's how you arrive at something great. So we have the tell it, we have the setup, and then we go into our, this, these are both our show it, but here's the quote sentence, a little tag before it. Nichols recalls, or he recalls, comma, space, I was out to dinner with some friends and I didn't pig out or even finish my plate. I suddenly realized it was because my new stomach muscles were telling me they were full. Okay, it's an interview, so I don't need to cite the page. I do need to cite the interview, and I'll send out a thing about that later. In other words, by simply adding 10 sit-ups a day, he was surprised to find his eating habits also changed. So there's my paraphrase, nice and simple, trying to really simplify the main point of that quote. And then all of this is my so what. It's about the same size as the first three parts put together, maybe not quite big enough, but remember that rule of thumb, make this so what section nice and uh, stay with it long enough. This gives me hope because I think sometimes I think about all my bad habits and they overwhelm me. I need to start exercising and eat better and stop watching my shows every night and get more sleep. Where do I start? It turns out I just need to start small with something realistic a little each day and if I'm lucky it will turn out to be a keystone habit which leads to changing other habits. So this is my wrap up here that's kind of linking back to the beginning to give the whole paragraph a nice shape, a little bit of closure. And then I would go on to the next paragraph that would also be about keystone habits, but it would be citing another source or talking about something else. So that is the basic process. Interview someone, get lots of notes, record it, get some good quotes, go back and get follow-up quotes if they don't match your thesis, or interview someone else. It doesn't take that long. And then turn it into a paragraph that has a tell it sentence linked to the thesis. It has set up sentence where you introduce the subject or topic of your paragraph or who you interviewed or whatever. Make sure you have the show it a tag before the quote to tell us who's talking. And of course, you have your explain it. In other words, basically, essentially, and so on. And then you have your so what analysis, thoughts, connections, wondering and answering your wondering, at least trying to, um, and bringing it all back to your topic. So in this case it ended talking about keystone habits again. So I hope that helps you a little bit with your interview paragraph and maybe some of the other ones too because they are all following this important um, idea of linking the topic sentence back to the thesis, but also moving into the paragraph.